Princess Anne, a steadfast figure in the British royal family, has long been known for her dedication to duty and her no-nonsense attitude. As the only daughter of Queen Elizabeth II, she holds a unique and respected position within the monarchy. But behind her poised public image lies a tension that has quietly simmered for years, one rooted in her complex relationship with Queen Camilla. The story of Princess Anne and Camilla is one that has captivated royal watchers for decades, particularly following the tragic death of Princess Diana. As the world mourned the loss of Diana, a figure beloved for her kindness and compassion, the question of Camilla's place in the royal family began to emerge. And it was a question that weighed heavily on the entire monarchy, especially on Princess Anne. And, known for her candid assessments and strong opinions, had her reservations about Camilla from the beginning. Camilla, once an outsider whose relationship with Prince Charles had long been the subject of controversy, was now poised to become queen consort. But for Anne, the journey from public skepticism to royal acceptance was anything but straightforward. The royal family is built on centuries of tradition, a tightly held code of conduct and expectations. And Princess Anne, a true traditionalist, was wary of Camilla's entrance into the royal fold. It wasn't just about Camilla's controversial past, it was about what her presence represented for the monarchy, especially in the wake of Princess Diana's tragic passing. Diana had captivated not just Britain but the world, leaving an indelible mark on the royal family. In the years following her death, the monarchy was left grappling with how to move forward while honoring Diana's legacy. For Anne, the memory of Diana was deeply tied to her feelings about Camilla. As the nation mourned, Camilla's role in Charles's life became increasingly prominent, casting a long shadow over the royal family's attempts to navigate this sensitive chapter. Charles's previous marriage had ended in public turmoil, and now the idea of Camilla stepping into the shoes of Queen Consort brought a level of discomfort to both and, and the British public. Despite this, the years that followed would test and resolve. As Charles and Camilla's relationship solidified, Camilla began assuming more official royal duties. She committed herself to charitable causes, earning recognition for her work on literacy, osteoporosis awareness, and support for victims of domestic abuse. The public's perception of her began to shift, slowly but surely. Still, and wasn't convinced. Her doubts about Camilla's suitability to be queen consort persisted, echoing the broader debates that swirled both within the royal family and among the British public. Could Camilla truly take on the weight of such a role? Could she step into a position that Princess Diana had once held with such grace and warmth? These questions lingered as the monarchy faced the mounting pressures of modernity. But Camilla, ever steady, continued to prove herself in the eyes of many. She was not without her challenges public opinion remained divided for years, yet she pushed forward with a quiet determination that gradually began to change the narrative. Her marriage to Charles in 2005 marked a turning point, though the journey was far from over. As the years went on, Camilla showed a deep commitment to her royal duties and to the causes she championed. Princess Anne, too, began to soften her stance, though she remained cautious. The monarchy, after all, was at a crossroads. Tradition and modernity seemed at odds with one another, and in skepticism mirrored a wider debate about how the royal family should adapt to changing times. The world was no longer the one and had grown up in, and the pressures of public scrutiny had only intensified in the 21st century. But as time marched on, the inevitable came to pass. In May 2023, King Charles and Queen Camilla were formally crowned at Westminster Abbey, marking a historic moment for the monarchy. It was a day of celebration, a day that symbolized both continuity and change. For Camilla, it was the culmination of a long and arduous journey, one that had taken her from the periphery of royal life to its very heart. And yet, even on that day, there remained a tension beneath the surface. 
For Princess Anne, the coronation was not just about Camilla's ascent to Queen Consort, it was about what it meant for the future of the monarchy. Would the royal family, with all its deep-rooted traditions, be able to survive in a world that increasingly demanded transparency and modern values? As Anne watched the ceremony unfold, her thoughts likely returned to the past to Diana, to the early days of Charles and Camilla's relationship, to the countless royal engagements she had carried out over the years. And had always been a steady hand within the monarchy, a figure who represented duty and commitment above all else. But now, she was faced with the reality that the monarchy, and her own role within it, was changing. Despite her initial doubts, and could not ignore the contributions Camilla had made over the years. Camilla's charitable work, her steady presence at Charles's side, and her gradual acceptance by the public all pointed to a woman who had worked hard to earn her place. The tensions between tradition and change had not disappeared, but they had begun to find a delicate balance. Anne's influence within the royal family remained significant, and her opinions carried weight. She had not been afraid to voice her criticisms of Camilla's role in the past, but as the monarchy moved forward under King Charles and Queen Camilla, Anne's insights were more important than ever. The monarchy, with all its history and grandeur, needed figures like and to help guide it through the challenges of the 21st century. In the end, Anne's relationship with Camilla had evolved, much like the monarchy itself. What had once been a source of tension had become a story of adaptation and resilience. The British royal family, though steeped in centuries-old traditions, had shown that it could still change, still grow, still find its place in an ever-shifting world. For Anne, the journey had been far from easy. But as she stood alongside her family, watching the coronation of King Charles and Queen Camilla, she understood more than ever the importance of continuity, of upholding the values that had sustained the monarchy for generations. And though the future remained uncertain, and knew that the royal family was, as it had always been, a symbol of stability and strength. As the British monarchy continues to evolve, the story of Princess, and in Queen Camilla serves as a reminder that even the most entrenched traditions can find new life in the face of change. Through tension, doubt, and eventual acceptance, both women have played pivotal roles in shaping the future of the institution they serve. And as they move forward, their legacy will be one of perseverance, adaptability, and an unwavering commitment to the crown. As the coronation celebrations wound down, the world's eyes remained fixated on the royal family. In every conversation and news outlet, the same question echoed, what would the monarchy look like under King Charles and Queen Camilla's leadership? And more importantly, how would the internal dynamics between key members like Princess and Anne Camilla shape the future? For Princess Anne, that question held even more weight. Known for her duty-first attitude, and had spent decades standing as a pillar of the monarchy, often shouldering the burden of royal engagements while others basked in the spotlight. She had never sought the kind of attention or celebrity that followed her brother, King Charles, or her late sister-in-law, Princess Diana. Her focus had always been on service, a value deeply instilled by her mother, Queen Elizabeth II. And yet, despite her steadfast loyalty, she had watched as Camilla, a figure once regarded with suspicion, gradually assumed a more prominent role. This, perhaps, was where the tension lay and was not one for airs or appearances, and Camilla's initial rise was fraught with public controversy, the lingering shadow of Diana making it all the more difficult for her to be accepted. Princess Diana's memory was not just a part of the past, it was interwoven with the public's continued emotional attachment to the monarchy. Diana's compassion and natural affinity for the people had left a mark on the British psyche that no successor could easily erase. For Anne, Diana's tragic death had deepened her concerns. How could anyone, let alone someone like Camilla, who had once been at the center of a royal scandal, hope to step into the role that Diana had filled with such grace? The public's outrage at Charles's affair with Camilla had been real, 
and it had left scars on the royal family. Even as Charles and Camilla's relationship grew more formalized, there was a feeling within the family, especially from Anne, that the monarchy had not yet fully healed from the wounds of the past. Yet despite these doubts, Camilla's gradual transformation was undeniable. Over the years, she had worked tirelessly to repair her public image. Her dedication to numerous charitable causes, particularly those that resonated with underrepresented and vulnerable communities, began to shift opinions. Princess Anne, though not easily swayed by public relations efforts, could not help but notice that Camilla had embraced the royal duty with a level of seriousness and respect. Still, the undercurrent of tension persisted. As Anne watched Camilla grow more confident in her role, she also saw the growing divide between public opinion and royal tradition. Camilla was no longer the controversial figure from the 1990s, but she wasn't quite the universally beloved figure that Diana had been. This posed a challenge not just for Camilla, but for the monarchy as a whole. The question remained, could Camilla ever truly embody the role of queen consort, not just in title but in spirit, in the eyes of both the public and her peers? And more than anyone, understood the importance of tradition. She had lived her entire life by the royal code, upholding the values that defined the monarchy. And for her, those values were sacred. The crown was not simply a symbol of power, it represented continuity, duty, and the unbroken thread of history. Any deviation from these principles threatened the very essence of the monarchy itself. This belief is likely what fueled Anne's initial skepticism toward Camilla. The British monarchy, in her eyes, had always been about maintaining integrity and stability. Camilla's ascent, with all its baggage from the past, seemed to challenge those notions. But as the years went on, even and had to confront the reality that the monarchy could no longer exist in a vacuum. The world was changing, and so too were the expectations placed upon the royal family. Camilla's eventual acceptance within the family and by the public came slowly, and with great effort. She didn't try to replace Diana, and perhaps that was key. Instead, she carved out her own path, supporting King Charles while also championing causes close to her heart. Her work with domestic abuse victims, her advocacy for literacy, and her support for osteoporosis research won her admiration from unexpected quarters. Over time, these contributions started to shift the narrative around her. But for Princess and the question remained deeper than public perception. It was about whether Camilla's values aligned with those of the monarchy. Could Camilla carry the weight of centuries-old traditions while helping to guide the royal family into the modern age? Could she represent the continuity and dignity that Anne held so dear? Anne's perspective on these matters was shaped not only by her familial role, but by her deep understanding of royal duty. She had spent a lifetime dedicating herself to the crown, often without the fanfare or recognition that accompanied her brothers. She had been content to work behind the scenes, her loyalty never in question, even as others around her attracted attention for more glamorous reasons. This quiet, steadfast commitment gave her a unique lens through which to view the royal family's future, including the role Camilla would play. When Camilla finally stood beside Charles at their coronation in 2023, the significance of the moment was not lost on anyone. It marked not just the beginning of a new chapter for the monarchy, but the culmination of Camilla's long journey from controversy to respectability. For Anne, it was a moment of both reflection and recognition. While she had harbored doubts for years, the fact remained that Camilla had proven herself, at least in some ways. She had weathered public scrutiny, stood by Charles's side, and committed herself to the service that the monarchy required. Yet even in this moment of triumph, the tension remained. The coronation symbolized a new era, but it also highlighted the delicate balance between tradition and modernity. Would Camilla be able to uphold the monarchy's values while helping to guide it through the complexities of the modern world?
Could the royal family, so deeply rooted in the past, truly adapt to the societal changes that lay ahead? Princess and knew better than anyone the challenges that lay ahead for the monarchy. As the world continued to change, the pressures on the royal family would only increase. Public opinion, once a secondary concern, now played an outsized role in shaping the monarchy's future. And while Camilla had made significant strides in gaining public favor, the question of her lasting impact remained. For and it wasn't just about Camilla as an individual, it was about the survival of the institution itself. The monarchy had weathered countless storms over the centuries, but this new era presented unique challenges. Global responsibilities, societal expectations, and the ever-present scrutiny of the media placed the royal family under a microscope like never before. Could the monarchy remain relevant, and more importantly, could it retain the respect and dignity that had defined it for so long? As in look to the future, she knew that the answers to these questions would define not only Camilla's legacy but the legacy of the monarchy itself. It was a delicate balance, one that required both adherence to tradition and a willingness to evolve. And while Anne's initial skepticism had not entirely disappeared, she understood that Camilla's role in shaping this future was now undeniable. The tension between past and present, between tradition and change, would continue to shape the dynamics within the royal family for years to come. But in that tension lay the very essence of the monarchy's enduring strength, the ability to adapt, to evolve, and to remain a symbol of stability in an ever-changing world. For Princess and in Queen Camilla, their journey was far from over. But as they continued to navigate the complexities of royal life, their relationship, once marked by skepticism and tension, had transformed into one of mutual respect and shared purpose. And in that transformation lay the hope for the monarchy's continued relevance and success in the years to come. The decision to appoint Princess and known for her unwavering commitment to royal duties, and her reputation as one of the hardest working members of the royal family, represents a refreshing departure from tradition. Unlike her counterpart, Queen Consort Camilla, who is often viewed as more traditional, and less engaged in the everyday responsibilities of royal life, princess, and embodies a modern approach to monarchy. This shift Meanwhile, is not merely royal a change family in title. as a whole is expected it is a to adapt to the new what dynamics to lead in today's and society. society brings. The relationship between the royals will undoubtedly evolve, with King Charles and princess, and potentially collaborating on initiatives that reflect their shared vision for the monarchy's future. As they embrace this new chapter, the family must prioritize unity and a shared commitment to serving the public. Internationally, this shift in the British monarchy may also influence how other royal families perceive their roles. The impact of Princess Anne's leadership could resonate beyond the UK, inspiring monarchies in other countries to consider similar transformations. As the royal family gains more visibility and relevance in the modern world, other royal houses may be encouraged to explore ways to connect with their citizens more authentically. As the royal family embarks on this transformative journey, the world awaits with bated breath, eager to witness the evolution of the monarchy under Princess Anne's leadership. The unprecedented decision to name her queen is just the beginning of what could become a new standard for how monarchies engage with the public. With an emphasis on dedication, hard work, and a willingness to adapt to societal changes, the British royal family stands poised to reclaim its place in the hearts of the people. In the coming months, the eyes of the world will be on Princess, and as she steps into her new role. Her actions, decisions, and initiatives will undoubtedly shape the public's perception of the monarchy. As she embraces her duties, the new queen may pave the way for a future where the royal family thrives in a modern context fostering a renewed sense of pride and admiration among the people. With every public engagement, every charitable initiative, and every interaction with the public, princess, and has the opportunity to redefine the monarchy's image, creating a legacy built on service and connection. The excitement surrounding her ascension as queen serves as a reminder that change is not only possible but also necessary for growth and evolution. The British monarchy stands at a crossroads, and with Princess and leading the way, 
there is every reason to believe that this new era will be marked by a commitment to service, authenticity, and a bright future. As we witness the unfolding of this monumental transition, one thing is clear, the monarchy is not merely a historical institution, it is a living, breathing entity capable of change and adaptation. Prince Essen's reign as queen represents a significant opportunity for the British monarchy to evolve and embrace the values of dedication and hard work, proving that even the most venerable traditions can be revitalized in the spirit of progress. In the end, the true test of Prince Essen's leadership will not just be in titles and ceremonies, but in her ability to connect with the people, to inspire a new generation, and to reaffirm the monarchy's relevance in an ever-changing world. With hope and excitement on the horizon, the royal family invites everyone to join them on this remarkable journey, eager to see how history unfolds under the stewardship of a queen who is ready to embrace her destiny.